Welcome to episode 32 of our series on Robert Greene's The Law of Human Nature. Everyone has insecurities, whether about their appearance, intelligence, or likability. These concerns can block us from accepting new ideas or trusting others. To excel at persuading people, it's crucial to understand how to address and alleviate these anxieties. In this episode, we'll explore strategies to help others feel more confident and open to new perspectives. First, you need to figure out what someone is unsure about. This means listening carefully when they talk and watching how they act. Do they get upset when talking about certain things? Do they keep asking for people to say nice things about them in some areas? These are clues about what makes them feel unsure. Once you know what someone worries about, be very careful not to make it worse. People are really sensitive about their weak spots. Even a small word or look that seems like you're judging them can make them close up and stop listening to you. But just being careful isn't enough. The real trick is to make people feel better about the things they're not sure about. This doesn't mean just saying nice things all the time. That can seem fake. Instead, you need to be smart about how you make people feel good. For example, if someone isn't sure if they're creative, but they really want to be, you could say something like, I really liked how much thought you put into that project. This is better than saying, you're so creative, because it feels more real and focuses on what they did, not just who they are. If you're trying to convince someone who's your boss or more important than you, don't just say nice things to them. That can seem like you're trying too hard. Instead, show that you think they're smart by agreeing with their ideas. If it's someone who's equal to you, you can say more nice things directly, but still be careful not to overdo it. Timing is really important. Don't say nice things and then right away ask for something. That makes it obvious you're trying to get something. Instead, take your time. Maybe even act a little cold at first, then slowly get friendlier. This makes your nice words seem more real later on. A really clever trick is to get other people to pass on nice things you've said. Like if you tell a coworker, I thought Jane did a great job on that report, and then they tell Jane. This seems more honest because you didn't say it directly to Jane. When someone asks what you think about something they did, be careful. They usually don't want the whole truth. They want to feel good, but in a way that seems real. So you might say, I really liked your speech. The ending was especially strong, though maybe the middle part could be a bit clearer. The most important thing is to seem honest. The best way to do this is to actually find things you really do like about the person. If you can't, at least try to feel good about them when you're saying nice things. People can tell if you're faking it by how you stand or where you look, even if your words sound good. Remember, this works best with people who already feel pretty good about themselves. If someone really doesn't like themselves, saying nice things might not work. They might not believe you. Learning to do this well takes practice. You need to pay attention to people and really try to understand them. It's like walking on a tightrope. You have to be careful not to make people feel bad, but also make them feel good in a way that seems real. When you get good at this, it can really change how people see you and listen to you. In a world where everyone wants to feel good about themselves but doesn't hear it enough, being able to make people feel better about their worries can be like having a superpower. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Don't use this to trick people or make them do bad things. The goal should be to help both you and the other person. When used in a good way, making people feel better about their worries can lead to better conversations, more open minds, and happier relationships for everyone involved. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If something resonated with you, share your thoughts and personal experiences in the comments below. Your insights could be valuable to others. Now, a quick reminder, make it a habit to learn something beneficial every day. The content you consume is like food for your brain, so be intentional about it. Otherwise, the algorithm might start influencing your thoughts. Reflect on that. 
we're always accepting your contributions through subscriptions to our channel. Your support will help us with upcoming projects and ensure we continue delivering top-notch content. Join us by subscribing today.